Aries, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your September 4th through the 10th love reading. We will see what comes up. This may or may not resonate with you because I can't read everybody, and this is for thousands and thousands of people. If you do like it, hit the subscribe button. If you want to get notifications, hit the bell. If you don't want notifications but want to come back to me easily, you just hit the plain subscribe button. Um, this is for Aries, September 4th through the 10th. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. This is for male or female. The kings and the queens represent male or female. I see that you need to let go of something. There's something that you're carrying around um, that you need to let go of. And it's, it's just weighing way too heavy on your shoulders. And you need to let go of it. Okay? I just want to get that. There we go. Okay, so you're right in the middle of the reading right here. This is a man or a woman, um, and that would be you, Aries. And I think that you, you're feeling very um, adventurous this week or excited about something. But, you know, it's odd because right next to that exciting new discovery is feeling stuck, feeling like a victim of some sort. Maybe you're feeling like a victim of circumstance, okay? Um, you're, maybe you're feeling like you have been deceived or lied to by somebody and you know you're feeling like now you just don't know what to do and you're feeling stuck in a situation um, but I think that that's that's temporary I think that's a feeling that doesn't really stay around because right after that we have the Sun card which is happiness and bliss and getting clarity of mind so where whatever is bogging you down is um, is temporary I see that your establishment your home is very comfortable and you're feeling very abundant okay you're just feeling very grateful for all that you have despite feeling stuck in a situation you're feeling grateful so that's great I think that you're feeling very nurturing caring loving and I think that you're very vibrant this week perhaps you are really following your own path all right, you're doing what you need to do for you. Um, you may be overindulging. There may be some um, addictions here. Uh, and maybe that's what you're cutting out because I see you cutting out something, letting something go that perhaps you were obsessed with or addicted to or um, something like that. I think that you're getting down to the root of the matter, whatever it is. I feel like you've been contemplating something, contemplating a change. Perhaps you're going through a period of healing. Um, you feel like you're on thin ice, though, and I'm not sure what that's about, but I feel like you feel like you are on thin ice, almost like you are a victim of circumstance, okay? I see that you're carrying a very heavy, heavy load on your shoulders, and you, you might not be feeling very um, secure. For some reason, you're feeling some insecurity. And I don't know why, because we have this abundance right here. And you and I think that you feel grateful for all that you have. But maybe this is you deceiving yourself. Okay, because that could be what it is. Here we have the Page of Cups. This is a new beginning in love. Maybe you're really... And this right here is a new discovery. Maybe you're... And something is happening happening very quick. You could have a new welling of emotion for somebody and it's happening very quick. Could be with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be with a Taurus.
I see that things are happening, though. Things are happening. Perhaps it's really time to let go of something. There's something that you, a load that you're carrying needs to be let go. Because you're feeling like you can't carry it anymore. You're feeling like, like it's a, you're about to break. Okay, whatever this is that you're carrying, you're feeling like you're about to break. All right, and it's weighing you down. It could be causing you some illness. All right. Um, now we're trying to get a love reading here. You could have another fire sign, uh, uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in your life that is making you feel stuck. Or is part of your... Um, well, that's you feeling like a victim. Or feeling feeling like you're stuck because of some kind of circumstance. Feeling like you can't move forward. All right. Are you listening to your inner guide? Are you listening? The high priest comes out when it's time for you to listen. I see what he's got his hand up. He's like, hold on a minute. Are you listening? Somebody is trying to come through to you or something inside of you is trying to tell you something. And this card comes up sometimes when it wants you to listen. You see, he's got his, hold on a minute. Are you listening? Okay, it's right next to this devil card. It's right next to this shadow stuff. Are you, are you ignoring a situation? Are you ignoring an addiction that's making you sick? Are you ignoring an obsession that's making you sick or causing you too much burdens or making you feel insecure? Are you ignoring something that you know you have to cut out of your life? You know, there could be some manipulation here because the devil's often about man manipulation. And it's also very materialistic, okay? When this car, the devil is very materialistic, so maybe it's something materialistic that you got to cut cut out of your life that is causing costing too much money, making you feel in, insecure, causing you worry, something that you can't pay for anymore. I'm just saying, I'm trying to get love out of this, but I, I I'm not. <laughs> you know, I'm not. I think that you're feeling stuck in a situation. I do see love here, and I think it's you extending love to others. I think you're focusing more on love than materialistic things. That's what I see. That's what I think that love is. I think that you are extending love to others. And that's your new discovery is that it's all about love. Love, 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 love. I think love is more at the top of your list than it has been in the past. That's what I think. I see that you are have a, like a, a spiritual awakening. All right, there's like a spiritual um, oneness and that you need to listen to that. Don't doubt it. Follow your inner guide. Listen to your inner guide. This is for Aries. It's definitely, you're definitely changing. You're taking action in some area. I think that you're very respected. I think there's recognition here. I think there's happiness. There is. I think it looks very, very good. I think you're you are aware. As above, so below. This is oneness. I think I think I said oneness a little while ago. I think that you have are becoming more spiritually aware. I think things are happening quickly. I think you're raising your vibration. Um tension? This is tension and this is deceit. And feel a victim of circumstance. That's within your head. It is. It's you deceiving yourself. These are all thoughts. All these swords are thoughts. You're not really stuck. You're not really a victim. Okay? This tension is you can remove tension whenever you're ready. Seriously. The swords are about thoughts and emotions. This is a deceit. It's a perception. It's a blessing. Look at it that way. It's all about perception. So if you feel like you've been deceived, you've learned from it, you move on from it, you no longer feel like you're a victim, you become one with the universe, you offer love no matter what. That releases huge burdens carrying around that you are carrying around. When you, when you meet burdens with love, 
what happens? You just, what happens? You let go of them. You don't carry them around anymore. I'm gonna get some more cards. You you are a workaholic. I think you got and, it's, uh, and maybe you're not a workaholic, but you're concentrate on saving, and you want to save your money, and you want to have things, and you work to have things, and you um you really do normally put that at the forefront and now it's on top now it's on top of the love but it's weighing you down okay it is weighing you down maybe you're addicted to work i do see some addictions there may be you're addicted to alcohol or drugs as well um this is you again moving forward taking action acting Taking action, being impulsive, doing what you need to do for yourself. I do think that you're going through some changes this week. And I think it has to do with offering more love and, and being more loving. And not focusing as much on materialistic um, gains. Okay? I think you're becoming more one with the universe spiritually. That's what I think this week is about. I don't think it's really about um, a loving, you know, finding a new love. I think it's a spiritually driven week. Okay, where you're healing and you're working on things and you're letting go of things. and you're, It's all about love and letting go and focusing more on, um, less on materialistic gains. And more on offering, offering loving energy. This right here is feeling very proud and respected. And it's also public recognition. This is a security and stability that is coming very, very slowly. Okay? But I don't do reverse cards because I don't need them. So I think... I think this is supposed to be reversed. I don't think that I do. I mean, I could reverse it, but I think I don't need to. I think this is supposed that's this is a reversed energy where delays are over. I think delays are over. Because I see a lot of action here. You taking action. Being respecting yourself brings you a lot of happiness. Brings you the truth. Raises your vibration. Brings you closer to the universe and God. Oneness. Mind, body, and spirit. And that's your new discovery. Because you've been feeling like a victim. You've been deceiving yourself, really. Or maybe you feel like you've been deceived by some of somebody else. And maybe, you know, that's perception. It is, it's all about perception. I want to get some more cards. It's all how you perceive it. You do have to let something go. And, it's so, and it is something that's weighing you down. And it could be causing you, you know, ill health. Stress kills. Meet stress with love. Yourself. And everybody else. No grudges. If you hold a grudge, it adds another stick to the pile. Every grudge is a stick that you carry around with you. These are the Romance Angel cards.
Your love life is being affected by children. Absolutely. For a lot of you, that is the case. And that could be why you think you're a victim of circumstance. It could have something to do with your children. This is because of your children. You can't do love right now because you have children. I mean, that's for some of you. Some of it could be your children are affecting your romantic life because there's they don't get along with the partner. Who knows? There's all kinds of different circumstances. Your love life is being affected by your children. And if you don't have children, it's the other person's children. Or it's not being able to have children. It has to do with children. Next card, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. This is telling you that you have the power to manifest. If you are single and you are looking for your soulmate, the quicker you manifest it, I mean the more time you spend manifesting it, the quicker it's going to happen because this is fast moving energy. Calling in your soulmate, manifest it. It's that easy. Get one of those little pieces of white, whatever they are. What the hell are those cards? Those little white cards, you know what I'm talking Index cards. And write on it like five sentences. And I heard this from another tarot reader. You know, but I'd say write, it, write like five sentences about what you want manifest. Okay, and I think it was Nicholas that I heard it from. But anyway, it's a great idea. That's how you manifest your soulmate. Is you just you write it down, put it under your pillow, or think about it. Do whatever you got to do if you're single and you're looking for that, and it will come quick. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Maybe you're already coupled with somebody. Or you're not, and this is somebody that you know, that you already know. And this could be somebody from the past. It could be a past life, too. All right? Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. I do see some addictions here. It's either spending, it's either saving, you know, it has to do with money, or it is drugs, alcohol, food. There's definitely some addictions ad affecting your romantic life. Engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And this isn't a physical engagement. It's not, I don't, I don't even like that. But anyway, this is... Um, your love life is ascending to a higher... This is your love life. Your love for everybody and yourself. I think you're going to be more committed to love than... I hope... Than you are materialistic things. And this is a big deal. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. That is the highest energy. So... The biggest message for this week is to let go of grudges because if you let go of the grudges, then that, then love does become the highest energy of all. That, I mean, that's how you raise your vibration. When you let all the negative stuff go, your vibration raises and then love comes pouring in because it's drawn to you. You're, you're bringing it to you. That's calling in your soulmate. You don't even have to write it down. Anyway, that's what I have. So I will talk to you next week.